In this video, I will try and provide you with a few ideas on how you can repair a damaged truss. I was just recently sent a, a question in an email where someone had a damaged truss. And I'm going to try and make a few videos on this, a few different videos to uh, give you an idea or some different ideas for different types of trusses and different types of damage. So I'd imagine over the years I'll probably make a at least five of them kind of an idea. So let's go ahead and start with this one here. Let's take one of the trusses out of the way. It is damaged at the bottom here. So you can see where this truss, we're looking at this is how the truss should have looked over here. And then someone has cut it. Now remember, I am not a structural engineer. These are just tips or ideas that uh, might or might not work for you. Okay, I've already fixed it. There it is. You don't have to watch any more of the video. Just kidding. Okay, so what I did here was ran a new board here and another board here over the truss and another one at the bottom. I don't know how long you would need to run one at the bottom. I would imagine it would need to be at least four foot away from the damage. Um, but uh, you might want to make it a little longer. This would, this a repair like this is really going to depend on what you can actually get up into the attic and how you can actually maneuver it around. So you might only be able to use um, a board that's four foot, um, you know, from the brake, something like that. But if not, I would feel comfortable going a little bit longer, um, five or six feet if you could. So here are, here's the repair on this side. I ran a bolt through these three points here. You might be able to do this with screws or nails. Keep in mind that if you're in a ceiling, you have drywall or plaster underneath the ceiling, you do not want to be hitting this too hard with a hammer. It's going to do that. It's going to damage the ceiling below. If you start moving this truss, you might need a pneumatic uh, nail gun, um, some type of a nail gun. I don't know if I would recommend a palm nailer if people even still use those things, but uh, the nail guns might be uh, okay. And I'm not a big fan of screws for repairs like this, but this might be um, your might provide you with another avenue of screws. And uh, I would suggest that you stagger the nails or screws. I'll show you that in a few seconds. Um, I wouldn't get carried away with too big of a bolt, maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, I don't know how much damage you can actually do to the board, either one of the boards here by using too big of a bolt. Three eighths might be pushing it. Um, but again, these are just suggestions. Remember, I'm just suggesting this stuff. You're doing it on your own. You'll be responsible for your own deal here. Run a bolt through the top there. See down here, here was the existing truss. And you might have a metal plate in the way here. These uh, the truss clips that they use for the mending plates might be in the way. You might actually have to drill through that also. You can put, an, put a bolt at the bottom, fill these boards in, fill everything in. And here's the staggered nailing I was talking about. Uh, a couple of nails here. Let's see if we got another picture of it. We do. A um, couple of nails at the top. Um, a nail here, a couple of nails here, a couple here going into the boards. And I, I just, I didn't need to draw all the nails. Hope you get the idea. You know, maybe a couple of nails over here. A nail here and a nail here. I don't know how far, how many nails you could put in. And, and I would use 16 D nails. If you're going to use screws, maybe two and a half to three inch screws might work. Again, staggering them. Stand back another view of it here. Again, we're extending back farther. And another view of it here. Here's another method you might uh, try that would be using mending plates. And I believe that's what they call these. And they come in different sizes. I've seen some pretty, pretty big plates. You might actually be able to find a plate that covers this whole area. You know, you could, it depends on what you have access to. Uh, I drew these in at three inches by seven inches because I found a three inch by seven inch mending plate. These are plates you can actually nail through. They have holes. The truss clips are usually too hard to um, install because um, you're not going to have the uh, 
pressure that you would get at a trust company, but I'm not saying it's impossible. If you want to give it a shot by using the regular trust clips, knock yourself out. Um, these actually might work better um, with nails or screws. You might want to follow the manufacturer's recommended uh, nails or screws for that. And you might have to get a little creative. You might uh, find yourself twisting and turning some of these at angles to get it to work. You can see how we really haven't mended this to here. So the bolt here might work. Maybe you could run a, um, a bolt through these two and then put the mending plates on to get something, uh, get a better connection there. And don't forget, you can always use them at the top also. One last suggestion, this might be a little overkill, but uh, an MST-48, a Simpson product, that'd be a four foot long strap. This is a heavy duty strap. This might actually solve your problems here. You again use the recommended nails for that. Um, kind of center it in here and go for it. And uh, these straps are used for wall framing plates and they're pretty heavy duty. I mean, I almost think the strap by itself, you could use it to make this repair, but uh, um, putting the two by fours on the other side would uh, seem, to, seem to be a better idea. Now, you might um, use 16 D nails here and uh, the 16 D nails might actually, um, they're gonna go into the other board. This might really give you a solid connection. But again, I don't know, once these nails start splitting the lumber on either side, they're not going to be doing much. For a wall framing plate, it might not be a big deal, um, but for something like this, where there's a lot of pressure on it, um, it actually, this, this idea here might not work. So again, these are only suggestions. And I will make a few more videos and try and put them on the website in order as I make them.